Hey y'all, what's up? It's Lauren and welcome back to my channel. So, we're going to continue the discussion from <coughs> um, yesterday's video. And it's the Infinity War Part 2 discussion. Um, or in the Part 2 of the Infinity War discussion that I had. Um, again, like last time, if y'all have not watched Infinity War, I will let y'all know. Pause it. Go watch it come back and we'll discuss it um watch the first video that i posted and then come back and watch this video um yeah also again the opinions expressed in this video are my opinions alone they don't have to be yours and if they are yours that's great if they're not yours that's great too let's talk about it in the comments because i really want to hear what y'all think i i want to hear what other people think about this because i feel like i'm alone over here and and I, I don't have many people in my life that I can talk to about Marvel so and their decisions and so I just need people to talk to about this and I'm turning to my booktube community now because like, y'all are we're all nerds and and we all have to unite in times like this I got it anyways um so yeah like I said the opinions in this video are my opinions and if they are yours that's great um they don't have to be yours uh so yeah, again, pause it right now, come back after you've watched Infinity War, the part one of my discussion, and then now come, yeah, come back. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. So last time I mentioned that I had some theories and we talked about, you know, some of my character deaths that really affected me. We're not going to go there because it's not what this video is about. So, I'd like to talk about maybe a theory or two that I have, some, some, some things that I noticed. Um, so yeah, a theory that I have is that the people before the snap, so anyone who died before the snap, like when he just went like that, and he had all the infinity stones on, on the gauntlet, and you know, before he snapped, all the people that I think died before that are permanent. That's my, con again, like I said, this is just all conjecture. This is all, like, what I think and what I feel. This isn't, like, legit, you know? I mean, I don't think any of us are going to know, really, what's legit until we actually watch the film. Um, so, I'm very, this is all just conjecture. But I think that, and, and you have to look at the way they died as well. Loki died from a natural cause. The three that died before the snap died from natural causes, for all intents and purposes, I would call it natural. I mean, Loki was strangled. That's that's a pretty natural way of, like, dying. Um, and, to quote the purple grape man, there will be no resurrections this time. So, as much as my little Loki loving heart wants to have my man back I don't think we'll see him and if we do we're gonna talk about it in, in the next kind of theory that I I have um so then Gamora dies from Thanos you know at the hand of Thanos as well and she dies I think from like stabbing or like getting pushed off the cliff or something and she dies naturally I mean we don't get to see what happens to her so she might be alive but in my opinion I think she's dead um, and it's unfortunate because I liked her, like I said, um, but we're, we're not going to get into that anymore. And then the last person to die before the snap was Vision. You know, Scarlet Witch was taking out the Mind Stone and she was going to destroy it and it was going to get, you know, go away or whatever. And she had managed, I think she had managed to do it and then Vision lived. And we were like, yay, great, this is awesome. I like their story. I, I really do. Um, I like Vision. I mean, I, <clears throat> excuse me. I have to take some water. Because I need some water. But anyways. So, I mean, I like Vision. I didn't, I'm not like as emotionally invested in him as, as other people are. Um, or the Scarlet Witch, but I really think Elizabeth... Olsen did a really great job at being the Scarlet Witch. I really enjoyed her. 
Um, and I enjoyed that character. I really think that her powers, if I were to be any woman character in the Marvel Universe, um, you know, in the movies, I would like to be Scarlet Witch because I think her powers are insanely cool. Um, so that's what I would like to do. But, yeah, so then, you know, after that we see Thanos come up and, like, basically kind of burn, burn Vision. I call it burn Vision, um, up to a crisp and, and, and collect the Mind Stone anyways. And so, yeah, um, so then, you know, he finally has all five Infinity Stones <clears throat> collected in the gauntlet. And then he snaps his fingers and we see our, some of our favorites. Now, I would like to kind of see if I can make a list, a mental list from what I remember, of people who died after the snap. Because I will be going in a direction with it soon. And you will see where I'm going with it. So he collected, he, so let's see who all was vaporized. T'Challa, um, Scarlet Witch, or Wanda Asimov. Um, Bucky, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Groot, oh, I'm trying to think, who else, Sam Wilson, or, which is the Falcon, <clears throat> I believe, <clears throat> is the Falcon, um, and I believe, oh, and Peter Quill, he was another one, Drax, was another one and mantis so that's like 10 people look at all of their powers okay look at every one of their power scarlet witch she's powerful um spider-man bucky t'challa um the falcon look at all of their powers put together on one side They would be a formidable host. They would be a formidable um, opponent to face. And we need to look at who's left now. We have, we don't have as many of the original Avengers. We have Thor. He's pretty powerful himself. We have Iron Man. We have Captain America. We have Scarlet. Not Scarlet. Oh my gosh. Uh, Black Widow. We have Bruce. Um... And we have a few others that are left. We have Rocket. Um, what's the guy in Iron Man 2 or 3? He's like Iron Man's friend or something. I can't remember. But he also wears an Iron Man suit too. Um, and we have a couple people from like Wakanda and everything there. So, and you've got to look at who's left. Banner, first of all, is left without any power. You know, his whole guys not coming out and we don't know why so I hope they address that in the next film second of all we see our team and don't get me wrong you know I, I think Iron Man's strong I think Captain America's strong and I really think Thor's strong and now that he's found his like thunder power I think that he's like the strongest asset to that team and Black Widow's pretty cool too we still have Hawkeye who's nowhere to be found um so we still have him in there as well. So we need to look at who we have left versus who was taken. I think that Thanos vaporized them. But I think that they're not gone. I think that they're in a different place. And I think they're with Thanos. And he's holding them prisoner. The ones that are vaporized. That have been vaporized. And I think that he's either going to A. Brainwash them. Um, or B, turn them against the Avengers and somehow, some way, bring them back to fight the Avengers because I have a feeling that he's not done with them. Now, I know Thanos was like talking about how he wanted, he revealed his plan to um, Gamora, I think, and how he wanted to make this planet all, you know, perfect and, and not bad or whatever. And, you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to stick up for the guy. He is, I, I can't stand him. I don't like Thanos. Um, I think, 
I, I, yeah, y'all may like Thanos and that's great, awesome, but I think he is a grape and I think somebody needs to come and either squash the grape or this grape just needs to shrivel up and die. Um, because he took my man. I'm still salty about that. Anyways. Um, so yeah, I, I think that he might be, I mean, yeah, he, he, he's not letting us all know what he actually has planned. I think he let Gamora know about the whole, like, world, turning it into a perfect, you know, perfect world or whatever, um, under his control, but I really think that he might have an underlying plan that's, like, gonna involve the Avengers that were vaporized. Somehow, I think they're gonna have something to do with what we see in Infinity War Part 2, um, because, yeah. I don't know why, but we just, I, I, I look at what he, I look at who was taken, and I look at who was left behind, and now, you know, he's, he's taken a lot of good talent, and a lot of, like, these very strong, powerful people away from the Avengers, so he's left them weak, he's left them hurt, and he, he's got him right where he wants them, so now I think that, um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. Um, I also think there could be a time travel element. I don't know, I don't know much about Captain Marvel. I've heard that she travels back in time, maybe, to do something. Um, I do know that it takes place in the 90s, which is cool, because we need heroes that take place in the 90s, because that was my, that was my era. I was born in the 90s, in 90s, you can take the girl out of the 90s, but you can't take the 90s out of the girl. That's my motto. I always say that um, to everybody I know. But like, yeah. So I, I'm, I'm excited to see that. I'm excited about Captain Marvel and I'm excited about Guardians Volume 3. We have to remember though, the I think from what I've heard from online sources and I don't know where, you know, I mean all of this is conjecture. But the Russo brothers have come out and said somewhere in some articles that, you know, not everything in in the Marvel Universe is like linear to Infinity War so some of it could be happening before Infinity War happens and before you know other like films happen so I think that that's you know we, we've got a lot of like unanswered questions to answer to be answered um but um I think Captain Marvel's gonna have something to do with Infinity War and I think that maybe she's gonna take them back in time to possibly the first Avengers where my man Loki, this is where my theory about Loki comes back into play, where my man Loki's going to be and she's going to try and convince him, hey look, we need to, somebody's going to try and convince him, hey look, we need to get the Tesseract, you know, and, and in my opinion, I think it's just a wasted cause because I think that um, past Thanos, future Thanos is going to find a way to get the, th the Tesseract no matter what, so but, um, I mean, you know, there's flaws in that theory. But, you know, like I said, I, there could be a time travel element to the movie that we aren't seeing. Um, and, I mean, you know, for all we know, these characters that died may actually really 100% be gone. And it will be very unfortunate and sad. And I really don't want that to happen. Um, so, yeah. Who were your guys' favorite characters? Did y'all lose anyone that y'all loved? I lost some people that I loved, and you know, I also kind of think as a writer and as an English major and everything, I appreciate the fact that, you know, the war aspect, there are, like J.K. Rowling said, there are casualties of war, and I mean, we need to look at the title and be like Infinity War. We knew that we were going to lose somebody in that movie because it's war. So, I knew it was inevitable, but I just didn't think we were going to lose my man. But anyways, you know, all the good things must come to an end sometime. And I look forward to anything Tom Hiddleston does. I'm a Hiddlestoner, like, just, yeah. I'm watching all of his, his films and his TV shows right now. I, I don't have an obsession. I might. I think, you know, they say the first step to admitting you have a problem is admitting you have a problem, and I have a Tom Hiddleston problem. Anyways. We're not going to get into that either. Um, so yeah, you know, just let me know down in the comments what y'all thought of the movie, what y'all thought of, you know, 
the storyline and the plot. Did anybody of yours die that you loved? Um, did anybody stay that you loved? You know, what do you what did you think about what do you think about the theory that I have about, you know, Thanos and pulling, you know, all these people to the side and, and making them, you know, turn against them. What do you think? I want to know y'all's thoughts, y'all's reactions. I want to know all of, all of, just all of it. Um, yeah, you know, let me know who y'all's favorite was, who y'all's least favorite is. Do y'all like Thanos? Do you not like Thanos? Um, yeah, I had an, I had a blast talking to y'all about this. This is one of, um, the rare videos that I'm just, you know, sitting down and talking to y'all. But, um, yeah, just let me know in the comments. I want to know, I want to hear y'all's thoughts and opinions on Infinity War as well. And if you want to, go and make a video about it and, and let me know so I can watch the video. Um, you know, it's all about discussion. It's all about, like, talking and, and getting your thoughts out there. And that's really what I, I want to find out is just what y'all think about this film. Um, did y'all like it? Did you dislike it? I liked it. Um, I mean, as a storyteller, I kind of have to like it. I think they told a really great story, and they got us. They got us good. Marvel, you got us good. Um, but other than that, I enjoyed it, and I had a lot of fun talking to y'all um, about it. I have an Instagram, which is Live Loves Book 17. I have Goodreads, Live Loves Book 17 as well, and I actually just now gained a Twitter. So that will all be in the about box whenever I get a chance to update it. But my Twitter is also Live Loves Books 17 parentheses Lauren. Um, I'm starting to post now that I have an Instagram dedicated to my books, my booktube. I am now posting a little bit more on my um, Twitter as well. I am still writing some, I'm still writing. Um, and that's taking up a lot of my time, so that's why I haven't uploaded. So I'm going to try and upload some videos a lot at the end of this week and early next week as well. Um, check out my next video to see what I'm reading now. Check out my Goodreads. Like I said, follow me on Goodreads to stay up to date as to what I'm reading. Um, yeah, hit that subscribe button down there and the notification bell because you want to be notified when I upload new videos. Otherwise, you won't know when I upload. And I, I say we talk about some pretty fun stuff on here. So, yeah. Um, also, let me know what you want to see. I'm thinking about filming a bookshelf tour. I'm also thinking about filming a writing process tour. And I'm also thinking about filming something else that I don't know yet. But we're going to have to... Um, I'm, I'm thinking about it. It's, it's in the works. It's working up here. Um, so, yeah. Let me know. Just uh, get to, get to talking down in the comments about anything you want. Um, so next time, until next time, um, I hope y'all keep reading, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.